Okay, this video is done by uh, request. And uh, by David. I forgot his last name. It's just David. I'll just call him David. And uh, he wanted me to go ahead and uh, try this option where I can turn off the HDR and turn it back on. I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. Remember, you won't be able to see the difference on this camera through lens. I'm, I'm going to try to pinpoint certain things and tell you with commentary using a visual aid because you can't see it. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. So before you start typing on the comments, we cannot see HDR on and off. I get that. I get it. This is done by request. I just want to let you know what I'm seeing. Okay, That's what this video is about. Me giving you visual aid and pinpointing certain things. If you get triggered, listen, because I have no cure for you. There's no cure for you, okay? If you get triggered. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so what you're seeing here, it's HDR on. And I can see clearly here with my own two eyes, you guys can see, I see peak brightness here just kicking in right here there's a peak brightness from that two trees just peeking right in now i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the hdr i'm gonna turn it off completely and then in about four seconds we're gonna see how that looks without hdr remember you can't see it only i can see it i'm just gonna give you visual aid to what i'm seeing the difference one two three Four. All right, this is without HDR. The one thing I noticed without HDR is that everything's bright. Like you don't you don't have that depth of field. Like you know, everything looks too bright, overwashed and bright. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. That 4K checkerboard rendering still helps. It still looks fantastic. But you do notice that you get a lot of bright, uh, overwashed colors. You know, they're like they're like too bright. You know what I mean? Too bright. All right. Why don't I get my camera closer? And I'm gonna leave it right here. Oh, let's find another position. Hold on. Let's find another position here. Let's go over here and let's find another position. Like right here. Let's let's put it right here, like right here, right there. And then I'm going to zoom it in a little bit like this. I'm going to bring camera closer. And then I'm going to switch back to the HDR on in about four seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, the HDR, it's on. And the one thing I noticed is... The peak brightness, the, the natural light that's coming through these branches of trees, it's just more, more suitable, more natural, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the HDR mode off in about four seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is uh, HDR off and everything's kind of washed out. The brightness, it's its too much brightness. It's like it's bleeding with brightness here. And I don't like it. What I mean by that, it's like it's not a natural light that's coming out. It's like everything's too bright and, and, and bleaked. It's just, you guys have no idea how much the difference the HDR makes in a game like this. Because this game, it's surrounded by such environments where HDR is mandatory. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn back the HDR on really quick in about two seconds. One, two. Here's HDR on. As you can I don't know, you guys can't see, obviously, but uh, there's less brightness. The deep black levels are much deeper. Everything looks natural. So the overshadowing of these branches here, it's nice and dark because the sunlight is coming from the east. Everything from the west here, it's 
dark. And that's natural light coming in, beaming in. So that's what HDR does. It produces natural light and color and balance. Now let's find another uh, position here in the game and let's do HDR comparison. All right, so let's do it right here. This is a good uh, position right here. And let's, uh, let's first do it like this, turn off the HDR, and then I'm going to zoom in and show you exactly what you're missing. Remember, there's a lot of natural uh, reflection light here. Keep, uh, keep an eye on this right here, and you'll see how this will become more brighter. Okay, so let me switch back to HDR off in about two seconds. I'm not going to go four, two seconds. One, two. All right, HDR, it's off. And I can tell you, everything becomes much brighter here. Every time, it's just washed out bright. It just, it doesn't look natural. It looks like you, you put the brightness all the way high and everything's kind of bleak, bleached, bright. I mean, the 4K still looks good. It's, it's rendered 4K resolution, but this really is the testament how much HDR helps and influence the picture man like you really hdr is mandatory in a in, in 4k you gotta have that hdr you guys have not have no idea for those of you who don't never tried hdr you have no idea how much you're missing out on hdr all right let's get back to hdr on but i'm gonna zoom it in okay okay so what i'm gonna do here keep an eye here on these stones this is HDR off. I'm gonna turn the HDR on in about two seconds. One, two. And just look how much depth of field you get here. Like everything's natural. The light is natural here. When you move the character and everything, it just looks natural. You can see more in the distance. It has that depth of field. Like right here is a good example. See that depth of field? That's what you want, man. That's what HDR does. Everything looks natural. Like, okay, this is overshadowing. It's dark. There's a light that's beaming here, a little torch of fire, and it's beaming, reflecting that light here. Now, look what happens when I turn off the HDR. When I turn off the HDR, off in about two seconds. One, two. All right, everything becomes more brighter and, and washed out. It just doesn't look that good. It just doesn't, doesn't look natural. Now, keep an eye on this tree. Keep an eye on this tree. I'm going to do this one last time and end the video. Keep an eye on that tree, and you'll see how much uh, uh, depth of field you will get in about two seconds. Let me turn the HDR on. One, two. Now, look at the difference on that tree. Look at the difference on that tree and here, the depth of field. Just look at that. And that's exactly what I was talking about. That's exactly what you want on HDR. All right, guys. So that's it. The end of the video. Hopefully you enjoy it. This was done by request. Take care.